Hello, my name is Kareem, I'm the coder for Grasswald, and in this tutorial we're going to go over how to build your own packages for Grasswald. In this tutorial we're going to build the simplest package you can for Grasswald. So we're not going to go over advanced settings like having different materials, uh, specifying which properties show up under the materials tab in Grasswald. We're not going to go over how to add modifiers or shape keys or t how to enable the turbulence simulation. We'll save all of those for their own uh, advanced tutorials. So in this, we're just going to go over how to build a package that will let you use your models as they are in Grasswald uh, with all the material, with all the Grasswald settings uh, except, with, with all the Grasswald settings except the, uh, the turbulence physics. So let's get started. Um, there's five steps. First we're going to import our models, then we're going to set up our package, then we're going to deal with thumbnails, and then we're going to finally verify and export, and then I can show you guys how to actually load them or install them and actually use them with Grasswald. So let's start with importing our models and materials. So first, open up Blender. And once that's open, we don't need anything that's already in this blend, so hit A, delete everything. And then we will import our models. So append, file append find the model that you're interested in. I'm going to use the purple love grass from Andrew Price's Grass Essentials. And then if there is a collection, that's what you want to append. You want to append the collection that holds everything in it. So I'm going to pull this in. If your objects are not in a collection, then just pull in your, your models, make sure they have materials attached, and then group them with Control G. So, you know, just to, to check that I've got everything working, we've got, we've got our models. They each have two materials, so that's perfect. So, that's it for importing our models. The next step is to set up our package. So, go back to Blender and then open the Grasswald tab. So you will we'll typically find this here. I have my own window that I like to use for it, so I'm just going to use that. And then open the overall settings, and the fourth option under Scene Settings, or the, the last option under Scene Settings, will be Enable Package Creator. So just tick that, and then you'll notice that a new tab is opened up, and you can click that, and it's the Grasswald Package Creator. So let's start filling in these settings. So the package settings, we have, first we have the name. So this can be whatever you want it to be. I'm just going to call it Grass Essentials for Grasswald. You can name it whatever you want. Ignore thumbnail, basic and advanced nodes. Um, you can put your name under author if you're interested in selling it and you want to have a, a URL for help, you can put something there. I'm just going to put Google. Um, and then ignore materials, modifiers, and shape keys. That's all we need from now, for now from package. So then go to the species, open the species list, and now we need to add a species. So give it a name. I'm going to call this purple lovegrass. And that is all we need from the species for now. So now you can close the species open the variant list, and here we will add a new variant. You can give this a name. Uh, I'm going to call this uh, flowers, because this grass all, every model here has flowers, so I'm going to call it flowers. And then you'll notice that there is a parameter here, the last one is called collection. So click there and choose the collection that is these plant models. And you'll notice that Grasswald has added a little uh, a plane that already has these particles on it. So now, open up the Species tab again, and now this is where this density multiplier value matters. You want to set this value to be something that looks moderately dense. Uh, this value is the same value, um, or the density, the, the, 
it, it's this is all about a visual density. So if you open a new Blender and uh, you add a new grass vault system, and then you choose any species. Um, so if I say curly dock, and then I set the density to be 100, and then if I also, instead of curly dock, I had chosen, say, beech leaves with still a density of 100, or if I chose, say, um, I chose maybe creeping bent grass with a density of 100, then you'll notice, once this unfreezes, then you'll notice that each one looks just as dense as the others. This is visually just as dense as this, which is just as dense as this. So what your density multiplier should be is whatever value it needs to be to look about this dense. The same density is, is something with a density of 100. So in my case, I'm going to close this now. In my case, that looks like, I think, 1800 looks about right. This value can vary widely depending on what models you're using. This is what it looks like in my case, and I'm happy with this. This is how Grasswold will coordinate, you know, how it figures out the density of each plant because each plant has different sizes. And that's all there is for the setup of this species. If you had other species or other variants, if I had another variant of the same species, then I would simply add another variant, fill in the name and the collection, and that's all. Once you're done filling in uh, your species and your variants, uh, or, or actually, one more thing, we are only going to touch the materials under the variants. So for each variant, go open this little material tab, and you want to choose this material. We're only going to add one. And you want this material to be whatever material is in the first slot. Grasswald only ever deals with the material in the first slot. So in this case, it's purple love grass, weeds. So I'm going to go here, and I'm going to choose purple love grass reeds. And that's that. So this needs to be the material in the first slot. And that's it. You should only have one. And then you're done with your species. You can add more variants or add more species as you wish. Just make sure that you have the right species selected when you add another variant. The next step is thumbnails. So there are two kinds of thumbnails that we use in Grasswald. There is the package icon, which you will notice, which you notice in two places. If I add a new system, you'll notice this icon. That's the package icon. So if I end up, cho if I choose a leaves, then this will be a leaf. If I choose, um, if I choose a weed, this is going to be a weed icon. So that is your package icon, and then. You also have your species and variant thumbnails, which are these two previews here. So this is the species thumbnail, and this is the variant thumbnail. The species and variant thumbnails should both be 200 by 200 pixels each, if you want the best results. You can have other values, but 200 by 200 looks best. And as for the package icon, it needs to be 32 by 32 pixels. My general recommendation is that it's transparent. You make the whatever the icon is white, and you don't have anything too thin, because remember, this is going to be really small, and it should be readable. So create these however you like. I suggest a vector editor to make your icons and maybe just render out some thumbnails. You can really do this however you want. It doesn't matter. We're not going to go over those details. Um, it's really up to your taste. But once you have your thumbnails all rendered out, then we need to add them into our package creator. So go to the package, and then find under parameters the thumbnail option, click the file browser, and then just browse for your icon. So in my case, I have this is the icon for the package. 
and then go to your species. You'll want to do this for every species. Look for the thumbnail that you made for that. In this case, I have um, I've made this. And I'm going to use that same thumbnail for the variant. So I'm going to go under variant and then choose that same thumbnail. And once you've filled in all your thumbnails, then we're let ready for the last step, which is to verify and export our package. So now let's go back, close all these tabs, except for the package, and you'll notice that we have a button at the very top that says verify package. So you want to click that, it'll turn into a, a check mark if everything worked. If there was something wrong, say I forgot to fill in a thumbnail, then it'll give me a warning and throw warnings wherever that thing is missing. So if, uh, let's put that thumbnail back. If this thumbnail was missing, and then I would get a warning on the variant tab, um, wherever the, the, and there should be a warning somewhere to give you an idea of what's, what's wrong. So common things are, you forgot to put a thumbnail, or you didn't have a material um, defined somewhere. So you want to make sure that you have some material for your variant. Remember, this should be the first thing, uh, the first, the material in the first slot, and you have all your thumbnails in. Then verify your package. Once you have a, a nice check, then you're ready to move on to the exporting. So now we're going to export. Choose a place to, to put this. I'm going to throw this uh, in this folder and give your package a name. This You shouldn't have a folder in this directory with this particular name because this is going to generate a folder. So I'm going to call this grass essentials package and then click export. And it gave me a warning you must save first. So do remember, you always have to save this blend before you can export. Uh, you'll want to make sure that you don't delete this blend later because if you ever want to edit this package, this blend is the only way you can do that. Otherwise, you have to start over. So um, always keep your blend sort, like your, your the source for your package. So I'm going to name this Grass Essentials Generator. I'm going to save that, and now I should be able to export my package. And then give, call this whatever I want, so Grass Essentials Package. And now I'm going to hit Export. And if everything goes fine, then you should get no error messages. Awesome. If you do have an error, or if you ever decide that you want to re-export this package, when you click Export, and you choose this name, and you hit Export Package, you're going to get a warning that says that the package already exists. To force it to just overwrite, when you click export package, notice here in the right in the right side, if this is not open, then hit N. You'll notice there is a check overwrite with a checkbox. And check that, and then you can hit export package, and it will overwrite that package. Awesome. Now it's time for the last step, loading or installing it. So Grasswell packages can be used in two ways. You can install it into Blender, which means that the package will always be there when you open Blender. Whatever blend you're working on, wherever it happens to be, this package will be available. The other option is loading it. Loading a package loads it only into the blend that you're working on. So Let's say I'm working on a certain project, and that project needs certain models, but I don't want those models to be available to everything. In that case, I would want to load it into just that blend. So let's start with that. To do this, go to Overall Settings and hit, click Enable Package Manager. This option is also in your User Preferences. If you go open the User Preferences, go to the Add-ons tab, and search Grasswald. You'll notice that that option is right here, Enable Package Manager. Once that's enabled, you will find this here. You'll see all the internal packages that come with Grasswald, 
all the packages you've installed and all the packages that are local to just this blend. So to load a local package, you just click the button and then you browse for that folder. So in my case, I exported it here and I called it Grass Essentials Package. So double click that and then click load. Once it's been loaded, that package should show up in this list and it should have its icon. Um, and now if I click add for, to add the system and I click add a new settings, you'll notice that our species shows up right here. So now I can add purple lovegrass wherever I like. These settings work. You can change your children. Um, seed, everything works just fine. And you'll notice that we have our thumbnails here and that the package icon shows up right there. You can also just filter by your package. If you didn't know that, if you just click Grass Essentials for Grasswald, then it just shows you all the models from that package. So that's a nice way that you can filter by package. And then if I save this blend somewhere, uh, let's just call this uh, test. Oops, uh, put that here, test. And then if I close that and I just open just a regular, a new Blender file, you'll notice that this package doesn't show up in that blend. So the only time, so if I, if you look here, there are no local packages. That package was local only to the other blend. So it'll show up if I open test, you'll see it under local, but it won't show up in any other blend. So it's a, it's a nice way of keeping things organized. What if you do want your models to show up in uh, in every Blender session? You want, you're want you going to use these models a lot, you just want them to always be there. So in that case, you'll want to go back to where you exported your package, which in my case was this right here. You want to put that into a zipped folder. So if you're on Windows, that would be uh, right click, send to compressed folder, um, let it have the same name, and this is what we would install. So now just open up a new Blender file. Make sure that the package manager is enabled. Remember, if you need to enable it, you can do it from the overall settings or from the user preferences. And now go to install a package. Now you just browse for that package, which is the zipped folder, and then click install. Once it's been installed, it should show up here. Its icon should show up, its name, and we should be able to use it now just as before. The only difference between this and loading is that if I close this blend, at, and I didn't save, and you open Blender anew, then you will find that package is still available. If you decide ever to uninstall it, you can just click uninstall, you're given a warning, and then you can click the package that you want to uninstall. But you see, um, our models are still there. So that's all you need to know to build your own packages. So uh, I'm, I hope you enjoyed this. I enjoyed it. So um, yeah, have fun with packages.